we're presented with a, a real threat, a real risk on December 25th, on Christmas Day. And the President took steps to try and close what we thought was a gap in our security and the security of the traveling public at large. We are not casting aspersions on the security situation in Algeria. You have been a target of terrorism in the same very way that we have been a target of terrorism. We are just trying to find a way to address <coughs> the issues where there may be gaps in security in traveling. And I say it again, this does not devalue the contribution that our cooperation makes to better security. It is not a comment on the relationship. It is simply an effort by my government on a very short time schedule to address a very pressing problem. Um, that problem, once again, is always under review. But given the time frame, the Christmas day um, that this happened, the President of the United States took steps, and that is what happened. And one other point, if I may. Keep in mind that this not only affects citizens from your country, but it affects all those who travel. Um, we are trying to find a way, I think, in consultation with our friends and allies and others who are interested in international air travel to address what is a shortfall in the international security system. Everyone is going to be affected in one way or another, whether we like it or not. My government very much regrets the inconvenience. We understand that this is not the way that you want to travel or I want to travel. Um, we're trying to fix the problem, and we're trying to do it in the best way and most effective way possible. And we frankly ask for your understanding in this. I don't want you to read anything more into my answer than what it really was. I mean, the President felt that he had to make a decision quickly on Christmas Day, and he did. We are committed, however, to continuing to reach out to our partners and to talk to them about the best way to confront this threat that we all share. So those exchanges are, are, are continuing throughout the world, but you know, you've put forward to me a hypothetical question that frankly is very difficult to answer. Could I just ask very quickly, do you, have you had or will you be having consultations with colleagues in uh, Saudi Arabia and Libya to discuss the fact that those countries are part of the included in this group. We <coughs> have had, you know, with all of our partners, a, a very full and frank dialogue on, on these issues, and that is continuing. But how about this? You might be the Zayn, about this one. You might be the Zayn. The question is why Algeria on this list? As I have said, it is not an effort to single out one country. But let's be perfectly honest, Algeria, like a number of other countries, has historically been a target for terrorism. And what we're trying to do is plug a gap in the international security apparatus system mechanism um, that you know, will address the fact that there are people <coughs> who have tried to cause your country, my country, and a number of other countries harm. It is an evolving process. We are continuing to consult with governments around the world about improving aviation security. We're continuing to consult with the Algerian government. It's one of the reasons I'm here. And you know, I'm, I'm not really sure at this point what direction we're going to go in except to assure your government and other governments and peoples that this process will continue. We want to make travel by air as safe as it possibly can. And the fact of the matter is that the terrorists do get creative, and so we've got to try to get ahead of them. And in consultation with our friends around the world, we are making an effort to meet that promise. We greatly appreciate those countries that have taken Guantanamo detainees, and we look forward to continued consultations with other countries around the world as the President meets his promise. Um, the question is, um, was the fact that Algeria is still um, maintaining the state of emergency a factor to include in it in this blacklist? I can't imagine that would be the case, but frankly, I don't know the answer to that. 
I mean, that really is an internal matter for the Algerian government. What our purpose was in putting together these new set of procedures for the flying public was to protect people who wanted to travel. That was our sole goal, that was our sole objective. The question is, if since you're saying that the sole goal from this procedure is to protect the passenger's security, in this case, why not include everyone on this well, list? As I said, I think that in one way or another, we will all be impacted by this decision. Um, you know, let me, let me assure you that this was not a decision that was taken lightly. Let me assure you that we understand that this is a burden on the traveling public. Let me assure you that we are looking at alternatives to address the risks that we see out there. Um, but it's very difficult for me to imagine that, that travelers around the world won't be affected in one way or another. That being said, our goal is very simple. Our goal is to try and give travelers the best security that is possible under the circumstances. Clearly there's no such thing as perfect security. But to, to deal with what we saw as gaps in the security system internationally, on the 25th of December. Um, this is the direction in which we opted to go. We look forward to consulting with other governments on this issue. We look forward to exchanging views on how to deal with the new types of terrorism and threats that are out there. And we look forward to continuing to work with your government and with others about how to deal with this very real problem that we all face. Well, thank you very much for joining us this afternoon. I, I greatly appreciate the opportunity. I remember um, having a chance to talk to some of you, or at least your newspapers, when I was here. And I, I particularly enjoyed some of the give and take with the very enthusiastic Algerian press. It's a pleasure to be back. It's a pleasure to see so many of my Algerian friends. And it's a pleasure to see that our relationship continues to grow and thrive. And I hope that. Uh, I can help contribute to that in some way. So thank you for, for coming.